If you are here to look for tips in order to pass the board exam or any kind of examination, well, this video is for you. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, please click the subscribe button and do not also forget to click the notification bell so that you'll be updated every time I upload my videos. And of course, I also want to introduce myself. My name is Kenneth Ganaba and I am a licensed professional teacher. So I am currently practicing my profession as a teacher in a university here in Manila. I took the board exam last September 2018 and I passed the board exam last December 2018. But the memory of the things that I have done in order to pass the board exam is still fresh in my mind. But before anything else, I would also like to give you a disclaimer. I am not an expert, hindi din ako reviewer sa isang review center, or even top the board exam. At lahat ng sasabihin ko dito ay nagmula sa personal experience ko. And your experience may perhaps differ from my experience, and I respect that, and please do respect my experience also. I'm going to tell you a very short background when I was doing my review. I was preparing for my board exam at the same time I was working as a teacher. It was very tough because I divided my time, my effort, and my money. And it was not that easy. So this video is not only limited to teachers, but to all who are going to take their board exam or any kind of examination. And I would like to take this opportunity in order to help people who are preparing for their board examination and of course motivate them in order to achieve their goals. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first step is to create a schedule for your review. So you need to give equal time to all your points to review or points to study. Actually, in licensure examination for teacher, meron kaming tatlong points to study. Gen Ed, Prof Ed, and Majorship. So that is for secondary. For elementary, they have general education and Prof Ed. So on my case, because I am a secondary teacher, I have three points to study. General education, Prof Ed and Major. I started reviewing June and my board exam was September. So basically, I have June, July, August, September, four months. So because September 30 ang exam namin, so I still have four months to review. So ano yung sinasabi kong give equal time to your review points or study points. So on that four months, hinate ko yon. June for my general education, July for my prof ed, August for my major, and September for all those points. So, I remember tinapos ko lahat ng reviewer ko on that specific month. Tapos, inulit ko ang pagre-review ko, refresh ko lahat ng re-review ko noong September na. So, that's how I divide my time to all my study points. In a week, we have seven days, and I I review for six days. I give my time a break, and that break is Wednesday. So, sa Wednesday, lahat ng kaya kong gawin para magrest ginagawa ko. On the other six days, I review. Every day, you need to put time for your review. I was working that time, and ang paso ko is 7 to 4 p.m. Pag uwi ko ng bahay, I rest for three hours, sleep for three hours, and that's the time after ko matulog, after ko maggain again ng energy, nagre-review ulit ako hanggang alas stress ng madaling araw. At the rest of the time, tatulog ko na at magigising ako ng 6.30, maliligo, and balik ulit sa school. Number two, know your peak time. So what do I mean by this? The question is, is simply what time you learn best. You have to listen to yourself. Ikaw lang naman ang nakakaalam kung kailan ka pwede 
at kaya mong mag-review. Kailan hindi ka pagod at kailan tinatamad ka. But it's not all the time that you're going to listen to yourself because there are also instances that you need also to adjust and to change especially when you don't have that good study habit when you were in college or when you were studying you need to change and to adjust number three develop a learning strategy or know your learning style so my learning strategy hindi talaga ako nakakapag-aral ng walang tao so parang kailangan may maingay sa paligid ko para makapag-aral ako. Kasi nga, di ba, nag-review ako from 8pm to 3am, meaning na inaantok ako or gabi na, pagod na. Kahit nakatulog ako, still, syempre, gusto mo pa rin matulog. So, I need people to distract. So, mas natututo ako pag marami ang tao. I always go to a fast food chain para doon mag-review. I just order food, tapos while eating, I review. Kasi doon, hindi ko nafe-feel ang antok at madami ang tao at maingay. So, parang, I always feel alive. What do I mean by learning style? So, if you can learn pag madaming tao, go for it. If you can learn with music, go for it. If you can learn na kailangan tahimik at walang taong bubulabog sa'yo, go for it. Another technique that I am using, I use cards or flashcards and when I was reviewing for my general education because general education are all memorization so kailangan ko ng flashcard kasi hindi ako ganun kagaling mag-memorize para uulit-ulitin ko yung mga concept para hindi mawala siya at at the same time yung flashcard na yun kaya kong dalhin kahit saan another strategy that I have done lahat ng dingding sa kwarto ko pati yung ceiling sa kwarto ko puno ng notes meron din sa sala meron din sa door para pagtingin ko sa buong sulok ng bahay nakakapag-aral pa rin ako do all the possible means that can help you Number four, take vitamins and eat properly. Always eat food that will give you energy. Eat healthy food that will give you good nutrition because this will make your body function well. And of course, take multivitamins. Basically, when I was reviewing, I took vitamin B complex. B vitamins play a vital role in maintaining good health and well-being. As a building block of a healthy body, B vitamins have direct impacts on your energy levels, brain functions, and cell metabolism. Number five tips, your review resources. So basically, in this generation, in this era, internet is the center of information and resources. But remember that not all the resources that you can found in the internet are reliable. You need to think before you believe. You need to be a keen observer and you need to be wise. For me, books are more reliable, but remember na kailangan updated yung binabasa mong libro. So if you are going to ask me if review center is required, well, basically, review center is not required. But if you're going to ask me if I recommend review center, well, basically, I will say yes. Because they will also help you to develop your learning style. They will make you more responsible to your task, especially to your review. Kasi yung na review center, nagbibigay sila ng mga notes, nagbibigay sila ng examination that will help you on your review na para ma-required ka magbasa, para ma-required ka aralin yung mga binibigay nila. But please, do not rely on the review center. Always rely on yourself. Because hindi lahat ng binibigay ng review center ay lalabas sa board exam. Sometimes, wala talagang lumalabas. So, do not rely on the review center. Rely on yourself. They are just there to help you, to guide you, in order to prepare for your board examination. And also, the best thing to do is to review your past notes while you are in college or you are studying. Why? Because this is basically review. Review. Meaning, review na lang, iulitin na lang natin yung study, ay yung inaral natin while we are in college. And, i-recall lang natin 
re-refresh lang natin sa utak natin. Pero kung hindi mo ginawa ang best mo during college, it's not yet the end. Why? You still have four months, you still have months to study for your board exam and just believe on yourself. Number six, review anywhere. Well, basically, you need to maximize your time. Ay, kung kaya mo mag-review sa JIP, why not? Kung kaya mo mag-review sa CR, why not? I experience na mag-review sa JIP, mag-review sa CR, mag-review sa kama, mag-review ng nagta-travel, lahat na experience ko yun. Also, when you are doing your review, kahit saan ka pumunta, always incorporate and connect all the things that you are doing to your review. Kasi, it will allow you to remember all the things that you are reviewing better. And of course, do not forget to always bring your notes wherever you're going. Number seven, always be positive and keep away from all the nega or negatives. Ayaw yung mga tanong na, what if hindi ako pumasa? Paano pagbagsak ako? Ano kaya mangyayari pag wala na ko sa list of passers? Please listen to me. Stay away from that kind of mindset. We'll cast all those kind of thoughts. You will not benefit from it. And parang hinahatak mo lang yung sarili mo pababa. I always say these words to myself. Do not let your fears lead you. You should be led by your dreams in order to achieve your goals. You should always claim it that you are going to pass. Always be positive. Because I believe that the more you claim it, the more you get it. This will also help you to boost your confidence and to do your best on this journey. Number nine, have a rest. According to my research, most healthy adults need rest between seven to nine hours of sleep per night. And the quality of your sleep directly affects your mental and physical health and the quality of your waking life. This includes your productivity, emotional balance, brain and heart health, immune system, creativity and vitality, and even your weight. So number 10, keep calm and don't cram. Remember not to be pressured. Why? The body and the mind can function well when it is calm and not pressured so there are people who says that they can function or their mind functions well when they are cramming remember that this is not a simple quiz nor a simple examination this is not a simple requirement that you need to accomplish this is a board exam that will change your whole life number 11 aim for top I remember I always put my uh, desired general average or rate on the top of my notes para mas ma-motivate ako na gawin ang best ko in order to achieve my goal. I always say this to myself, aim for the sky because when you fall, you will fall on the roof, not on the ground. What do I mean by that? Aim na kailangan mag-top para if you didn't top, at least you pass. Kasi if you're just going to think and to aim to pass, paano pag mag-fall ka? Diba? Sa ground ka. Meaning, you didn't pass. So ngayon pa lang, while you are reviewing, aim for the top. Last but not the least, focus and be motivated. Motivation and inspiration is very important. Especially when you are going to take board exam. Diba? Kanya-kanya tayo ng hugot sa buhay. Kanya-kanya tayo ng story. Kanya-kanya tayo ng motivation. And this motivation, these hugots, can help you in order to be better in your preparation for your board examination. Focus on your goal and avoid from all the vices and distraction. Especially not necessary, Gaya. Timpi-timpi ka muna, girl. Why? Kailangan mo yun. Kailangan magtimpe kasi after naman ng board exam, if you know to yourself that you are going to pass, and I believe that you're going to pass, okay ka na. Pwede ka nang gumala. Pwede ka nang gumugugu with your friends, di ba? 
And another thing, this is not included on the tips, but this must be included on your life. Always include God whatever you do. Always consider God to give you guidance. Always trust His plans. That's all for this video. If you like this video, please give this a thumbs up. If you have any reaction or comments, Feel free to comment down below. And please, if you know someone who is taking their board exam, please share this video so that hindi lang ikaw makakuha ng good vibes and motivation. And also, they will also have this kind of motivation. I hope you've learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. God bless us all. Card PDM and padayon kita. Bye!